Instagram is changing, and I know that can be super frustrating. And that's why we're gonna be talking about the multiple algorithms and how to actually use them to your benefit. Let's dive right in. The algorithm has felt like a really big guessing game, but Instagram actually revealed how it works. Instagram's goal is to keep you and the other 1 billion users engaged on the app. And how they accomplish this is through the algorithm. It promotes content that's gonna keep you coming back and scrolling through Instagram. And while for years we thought there was really just one algorithm, there are multiple algorithms for the different surfaces on Instagram. And these algorithms are for reels, feed, stories, and the explore page. And you've probably heard that using more of the Instagram platforms, the better results you're gonna see, and that's because of these multiple algorithms. The more content you're pushing out on these different algorithms, the more likely you're gonna get in front of your ideal followers. And for each of these algorithms, there's three main factors, timeliness, relationships, and interests. Interest is how Instagram categorizes content it thinks you will like based on what you've engaged with in the past. This is why it's really important to be consistent, not only with how often you're posting, but how you're consistently posting about those different categories on your own account. Instagram has a lot of data on its users. So the better you can create content around those interest categories, the better it can match make your content for those ideal followers. When it comes to timeliness, this used to be the chronological feed, which was all based on when you are posting your content. But now the algorithms are semi-chronological, meaning that the content you're seeing at the top of your feed most likely is posted sooner, which is that timeliness factor, but interests and relationships also play into what's curated at the top of your feed. To boost this timeliness factor, the more engagement your content gets after you post it, the more likely Instagram is to push it out to more users. And the last factor is relationships. This is who Instagram thinks your friends and family are, but as a brand and business, these are your super fans. And this is why it's really important not to just post and then ghost. You wanna be sure that you're replying to messages and you're commenting back to your followers to boost that relationships factor. Now that we covered the three factors on how the algorithms work, let's break each down in detail. Let's start with Instagram stories. Timeliness is a huge factor when it comes to the stories feed, because if you look at the bubbles that are closer to the top of your stories feed, those are the ones that have been posted more recently. You ideally wanna post maybe three times a day, morning, lunch, and evening. But you wanna avoid dumping all your stories at one time because you're really not gonna boost the timeliness factor. Along with timeliness, relationships also influences what stories are gonna be at the top of the stories feed. Now let's see it in action. If you pull out your phone and you start a direct message conversation with maybe someone that's asked you a question, maybe they've responded to one of your stories, you'll know notice that their stories are more likely to be at the top of your feed and vice versa. To increase those story replies or direct messages, you wanna create more engaging stories content. And here's how to do it. First of all, you wanna use more stickers like the pull sticker, question sticker, and quiz sticker. This is gonna make your stories a lot more interactive and really start those conversations in your DMs. Number two is make your stories more conversational. Pretend that you're talking to one person and not a huge group of followers. This is gonna increase the likeliness that your followers feel invited to respond and react and reply and not just passively watch. And the third one is really share those strategic behind the scenes. By strategic, I mean showing you creating your next product before it launches, showing your process, whether it means making a latte with your house roasted beans or even working on a content strategy for a client. And the most engaging type of behind the scenes stories for my account is showing a day in the life Life. So my routines, my rituals, and what I'm working on for the day. People connect with people. So the more connection points you can give them with your stories behind the scenes, the more engagement and relationships you're going to build. Next, let's talk about the Reels algorithm. Instagram has said they aren't prioritizing Reels, but there's more place to discover Instagram Reels. You'll notice you can share Reels to the feed. You also can share them to stories, but Reels also have their own feed entirely, which is in the center of your screen. And Instagram Instagram Reel is looping video, which means it's seamlessly repeating and people can watch it over and over again, which is a really great signal to Instagram that this is a great piece of content. So that's why short form Reels are more likely to perform really well in the Reels feed, but also in the feed algorithm. Bonus tip, if you're trying to create more entertaining Reels, go to the Reels tab and scroll 
scroll and look at music that have a trending up arrow next to it. This means that the audio is currently trending. So if you utilize it, you're more likely to have your reel prioritized in the feed. Now let's break down the explore algorithm. Instagram has hinted at wanting to make the explore page a more immersive place for video. So the more you can utilize vertical video in your strategy, the more likely your content is to be discovered on the explore page because the explore page is created for discovering new content. Interest plays the biggest role on what's curated on your own explore page. For example, if you go and like a bunch of photos about cupcakes, chances are your explore page is going to have a lot of cupcakes on it. You can't hack the explore page, but by creating content around a certain topic and then including those keywords in your caption, you're going to make it easier for Instagram to then categorize and prioritize your content on the explore page. Before we get into some myth busting around some hot topics like shadow banning, I want to give you some quick tips for leveraging the algorithm. First, when you're creating video content, make sure you're using as many native features as possible. Meaning if you're posting an Instagram reel, ideally you don't want to have a TikTok watermark or TikTok text on your video. Two, make sure you're using as many of the different surfaces as possible in your content strategy. This is going to increase the likeliness that your content is going to be prioritized in the multiple algorithms. And three, make sure you're being consistent with how you're posting on Instagram and what you're posting about. This is going to really help you gain traction and leverage the algorithm to your benefit. Now let's dive into these hot Instagram topics and myths. Myth number one, the more content you create, the better. That's not necessarily true. It's more about consistently creating content, less about the exact number of posts you create. Myth number two, hashtags are the only way to grow on Instagram. Or maybe you've heard hashtags are completely dead. Both are kind of false. Hashtags are just not as important as they used to be. It used to be all about posting as many hashtags as possible. Less is more when it comes to hashtags. It's more important that you're using the correct keywords and phrases with the hashtags that you choose and they actually represent the content your post is about. Myth number three, shadow banning, completely false. Instagram has said shadow banning isn't a thing, but they are being a lot more proactive about making Instagram a safer place to be with hate speech and negative comments. So don't be a troll in comments and avoid talking about politics and you'll be fine. Myth number four, organic engagement is impossible on Instagram. That is false. And I'm going to be sharing some tips in this video on how to boost your stories engagement. And then here's another video you might like.